Flight Boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're now listening to the Mind of an Antares Moon, Flight Boss, the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I'm going to explain to y'all how the physical realm was created. Now, y'all like, damn, how you about to do that? I'm telling you. Check this out. Now, this is how the physical realm was. Now, we finna get into the mind of God right now. We finna channel God. We ain't about to channel nothing else. We finna channel God. Now, check this out. Now, this is how the physical realm was created. Now, think about it like this. It's all about parameter. Just a, a range of space, a parameter. When we get in the mind of God, it's a parameter right now, right? Now, as, as this parameter to you and your dimension, you would just look at this like expanding in thought. Or... Or space expanding. But just check this out from the single space. Right? Now, a parameter doesn't know it's a parameter. A wall doesn't know it's a wall. So it doesn't know it's something there to go past. So, as a parameter, as you would just see, you might just think it's space expanding in space. This parameter, once it reach a parameter, the boom. This is where you this is where you get the idea of the, the first conscious, the first conscious being, the first consciousness of a limitation or surrounding or or uh, a parameter. So boom, off the bat, that already creates an orb because out of that orb, that's something being aware that there's an actual parameter. You know this plays out in your life when think about something that you want to do. This is the power that all God that God gave us all. Think about something you want to do when you. You don't know if you can do it or not. You just feel like you might got the conscious spirit to do it. When you go do it, that's when you start to experience the circumstances and situations to let you know what you can or what you can't do. Now that you know what you can or can't do within that field of whatever you want to do, you see what I'm saying? You get to learn and build on that now. You see what I'm saying? You see the limits and obstacles, and now you learn your way around it and learn creatively. Dude, that's an or. You see what I'm saying? And whatever you create out of that, you see what I'm saying? So as go back to the mind of God. Now is this a space expanding and reaching a parameter? It reaches a parameter. The boom. That caused the initiation of the first conscious of, of of a limitation or 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 something like that. Or or a boundary or something like that. So now or being created out of that. Now that now this is the creation of yin and yang. This is the creation of uh, because now that space See, it, it's like a, it's like an imagination. Look, all, all conscious imagination or all thoughts of anything that could be a limitation or something that needs to be from here to get there or, or realizing you're in something or all that came from that conscious. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to manifest in a minute, in many forms. Now stay with me. Now, what the creation out of that, that automatically created another orb. So now with those two orbs right there, you got two, then that creates four. You know what I'm saying? That created the four angels. So this is where you get the, the two main elements now, or Adam and Eve, or, or yin and yang, or, or internal, external. This is where you get all that from now. You see what I'm saying? Based upon that single parameter, reaching a parameter. Now understanding it's a parameter, a orb get created out of that now. Now it's two fields to go into because it was originally here. Now if it's here, it, uh, it automatically can become third person. This is where you get the Trinity from. Because it still had a space to go back into, but it never knew it was a space to go into because it's just based upon experience. We're talking about the first experiences right now. The first building of a brain. The first mind ever built. You know what I'm saying? The boom. Once you get out of that, that, that becomes one in so many totalities. You see what I'm saying? Because now that's the same space, but a space know how to separate itself now. Because y'all can go to my old videos. Y'all know I kicked this. The space was right here at first. Then when it moved in this space, okay, now we got two spaces to choose from. So we can look at both of them. That automatically brings in the conscious being a third person. You know what I'm saying? Third person. So in totality of things, third person is a lesser being, but it's all one. But the, 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 the three itself is one. You see what I'm saying? Now, out of that, you got... Two plus two is four. This is where you get. This is where I stay at. The archangels. You know what I'm saying? This is where you get from the first two particles from that initial action that happened. You know what I'm saying? You got the. You got those. Then now these are a mixture. Once once the two elements come together, you got four. This is where you get the Fibonacci sequence and all that. All that shit from. We was here before all that shit. 
All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then the four come together. That their mixture of elements <coughs> bring the lesser, <coughs> the lesser spaces. Then all those start to accumulate and manifest in the shapes and forms. Because look, check this out. The the original space would have never even had the idea to create a shape and form if it wasn't for that parameter. See, once that single space reached the parameter, that brought in the consciousness of shape and form. You see what I'm saying? Because now, with that friction or let's not even say friction with that experience that's a new experience so now you got to you got to develop and and in the way the only way I can explain it in your realm of reality is that you say you want to do something you you you're not you're not living the first experience you're living experiences after the experience so down here this is how to I have to explain it to you say you want to do something whatever you want to do right when you start to, when you experience it, first you had that frequency, that idea, that spirit, that consciousness, you can do that. This is how, this is how, this is how you even know that you did a lot of things before or things that you want to do now. It's on your spirit. It's on your conscious or you experienced it before. You know what I'm saying? And you take vessels to live out that experience again. Some get, some spirits get greedy. Some consciousness get greedy and some don't. That's another video. But when we want to talk about, when we want to talk about as far as going into the dimensions and shit and understanding how space come in within space, okay, look at it. You have to look at it in your dimension like this. Whatever you want to do, when you go do it, that's when you start to experience what you, what you are able to do in that realm of reality or what you're not able to do in that field. In that, it, you, you see all the limits. You see the boundaries. So then your ability to calculate the boundaries and what was not boundaries that's an or. Now you're, 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 this is your friction in that realm. This is, this is the power that God gave you. Don't be listening to nobody else. This is the only power God, this is the peace of God that everybody has. They just have it in their own way, in their realm of reality because it's so scattered and spread it out now. You know what I'm saying? But now that ability for you to orchestrate and know if that situation is willing, is, is for you or not. That's the, that lets you know your boundaries and your range. You see what I'm saying? In the spirit realm. It doesn't, it might not even play out physically. Even yet. It might just play out as an idea to you first. It might just play out as a circumstance or a situation. You start realizing certain things from certain people, right? Then it might play out into words now. You start hearing certain things. You start Hearing certain things about it, start learning certain things about it, start reading books and shit about it, about that energy, that energy signature, right? Now, now it's starting to become physical. Now you start to experience it. Now you start to act on it. Now you start to see it. Now, now we got. Now you start to walk in buildings that involve that energy. You know what I'm saying? AKA churches, or it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? AKA then you start to physically do things in your life that got something to do with it. You know what I'm saying? You start to pray, get on your knees. You start to worship, you start to fast, you start to do all kind of shit. Motherfucker, listen. And let me take it back, because I might not have explained this, because I'm, right now I'm channeling. I'm channeling, but I'm channeling the source. You know what I'm saying? I'm channeling the source. So, don't mind the, don't mind the energy or the language or any shit. Just take, don't kill the messenger. I can only come to you like a messenger. You see what I'm saying? I can only come to you like a messenger. And the only way in y'all dimension how y'all can receive messages is through computers and, and, and through and through fucking uh, messages. You know, fucking text messages, fucking phones, language, words. This is the shapes and forms that y'all have created for, for me to come down here. You see what I'm saying? Now check this out. Don't get lost in your own perception of what you have created for yourself. The physical is real because it matters to you. So it became matter and it becomes solid. So as a mind, I have an imagination. I'm building a brain. I reach a parameter of limits, a.k.a. I reach an idea I never thought before. Now I want to think about what I didn't think about before. 
What is the tools that I have to think about what I haven't thought about before? That conscious right there creates shape, form, limit. Because now I'm trying to bring my left brain into it now. I'm trying to bring into my, I'm trying to bring my left field of myself. What's logically the shape of this non-shape? What is this boundary? What is this parameter? That creates parameter in the first experience. That created the first orb. Fuck atom. Fuck protons. Fuck electrons. Fuck that shit. That ain't the first shit. You can't perceive the first shit because you go only in your small brain, you only see as space only being just all space. Me and my soul group, we all going to rise as one. As one space. The totality space. That first, that first, that first parameter was the first consciousness of, boom. Oh, I'm separate from something. But it's really not separate from something. This is really just me. A part of me I didn't know before. A parameter. I can extend it. Boom, that created the first concept of relating. We're not even talking about positive or negative yet. We're in the realm of the mind of what created positive and negativity. What created yin and yang. It had to be experienced first. See what I'm saying? That parameter. Boom, that thought and that idea. Boom, that created yin and yang. That created positive and negative. That created give and receive. Because it's a parameter I didn't gave into just subconsciously. And now I have to receive the information, the left brain part of what I didn't know about myself. Boom, two, two. Two plus two is four. Now, out of those first two orbs, from the original orb of just experience, we get an experience within an experience, the relativeness. Now we get the now we get the experience through the experience from the experience of the experience through the relativeness. That's the four archangels. This is where I stay out. Archangel Uriel. Hey, he be fly around the mind of God. Hey. And then, under that, all forms and shapes start taking form. Because we know through the idea, becomes a, a vibration, a vibration created fluid. Frequency, that was the first frequency what I'm speaking of. That created frequency. But what I'm telling you is fr frequency created idea. Thoughts. Line of events. Timelines, the spirit, the conscious, frequency created, all that. This is why I say your spirit, your conscious, whatever you want to call it, it's a shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas. Because goddamn, that's where the fuck we all came from. That's what we, that's what I got them explaining. We are pieces of that shapeless, formless, non-flammable uh, gas. We are pieces of that. I'm scared to even call it gas now because a lot of y'all lost in words. It's the lightest of it. We all pieces of it. And based upon relative where we at, based upon our location to the first oh, the first experience, the first space, the first gas, that's going to let us know where we at. This is why it's always important to know where we at. We are, we are a space within a space. So the space you are in is the space you always been. That's why the present, you all, is the, the, fuck the fucking past and fuck the future. The present is what you've always been doing. What you've been doing now is what you've always been doing. Now, what you haven't been doing is ascending, expanding your space, and, un, and, and getting in more dimensions and more realms of realities to see more of the perception. That's what you haven't been doing. But you've still always been in that space. You just going along, 
while evolution going on, and then you think it's moving. Nah, it's all in one space. But where you're at relative to that space is where you always been. Now, based upon your realm of reality, you may be so small within the realm of reality that it may appear that you're moving. That's why it's important for you to travel so you can know that you're not moving at all and become that whole totality of movement and come back up here with us. Come back. But I can't be having y'all come back with all y'all shit that y'all think y'all only know. Because you only know nothing. And that's how you channel source. Sight bus, bitch. Goddamn air. How the fucking physical realm was created.